Hello and welcome back to my Adobe Analytics tutorials. This week I am going to go through marketing channels. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just real quick show you um, how uh, and where they get enabled in the admin tools. Although I already have mine enabled so um, you won't get to see the, uh, the, the, the part where you actually enable it but you want to make sure you're in the right report suite and then you just go under marketing channels, marketing channel manager and if you haven't enabled it yet then at this point it will ask you um, to go ahead and, and enable the um, the marketing channels and it'll ask you a number of questions and that kind of thing um, and once you have it enabled you can always come back in here and uh, make changes to it um, you can see here um, the channel IDs and what's been enabled and I have uh, paid search, natural search, etc. These are all sort of the out-of-the-box channels um, and you can always add channels and, and, and define parameters and things like that uh, with a name um, and things like that but um, I'm, right now I'm not going to go ahead and and, uh, and uh, keep that because I don't really need another channel right now so I'm just going to go ahead and just unclick all of that. Um, all right, and then um, just real quick, you know, you have the name, um, whether or not you want to override the last touch channel. And basically, if you check this off, it um, allows you, it, it, it even explains to you here, it lets you uh, override the last touch channel um, with whatever this channel is uh, in order for it to get proper attribution. Uh, in your in your attribution model and everything but anyway this is where you basically manage your marketing channels and you can also create um, processing rules for your channels um, I am not going to go into that in this tutorial um, I don't have my processing rules certification yet <laughs> I am really lax on that I really should go get that so that I can enable processing rules and therefore can actually do some tutorials on those that's something I will plan on doing sometime later this year but uh, at, at the moment, I, I'm unable to, to work with those. Um, be that as it may, let's go ahead and just kind of get into the marketing channels reports themselves, um, just so you can see what they look like. Um, these marketing channels are really useful for folks um, who have e-commerce sites. I know that lead generation, et cetera, can use them as well. Um, but I've seen most of the clients that I've worked with that have used marketing channels that I've helped enable marketing channels with have been e-commerce related. Um, I don't find these to be as useful for uh, lead generation type sites. Um, and that's just my opinion. I could be completely off base on that, but that's just, that's just my opinion. Um, and just as a, uh, a complete honesty here. Um, I have struggled um, a lot with the whole first touch, last touch attributions. My clients who ask me um, to enable and work with them on marketing channels tend to always understand what this means and so I I have not had to really do a lot of wrapping my brain around the concepts. Um, I have a basic idea of what it what it means and for those of you who don't know, you know, first touch basically it's, it's getting its attribution um, related to the first um, touch within a conversion event um, on your website from this particular channel, last touch is the last uh, touch of a conversion event on the channel. So, you know, like, like they hit the home page, they come to my blog page, they eventually go to my contact page and fill it out and submit it. And that's a conversion on my site. So the last touch would actually be the thank you page, I believe, um, or submitting the form um, whereas first touch would be in that particular scenario hitting the homepage because the homepage was the first thing that was touched on the on the site um, and I believe that's roughly um, how that kind of works in terms of attribution but um, I also have these things um, where they're they're overwriting um, the the first the the last touch so that it gets proper attribution and things and here you know we have some things here for for natural search um, direct traffic and um, you know what pages are um, getting um, attribution for uh, for that uh, we have referring domains and uh, how those are getting attributed etc and a lot of this um, is the same uh, values across the thing and it's it's really like I said is I don't find it as useful if I was actually gaining 
um, revenue from my website, um, then I could have like some revenue numbers up here and you know you could actually look at the revenue versus the first touch last touch and it could really be very useful um unfortunately i can't show you that because i you know this is just my website i'm not uh through because of ndas obviously i'm not going to be sharing um data from my clients so uh with my social networks uh the primary social networks that drive traffic to my site youtube linkedin facebook um, it shows up to five, uh, but these are the these are the primary ones that you know I, I haven't really gotten a lot um, in terms of, of things from Twitter, but that's okay, you know. And and you can see here that near the end of the year I, I had some spikes through the year, and then near the end of the year it was actually going going up, which was kind of nice. Um, you can just see what things look like here in terms of internal. So again, um, pages within the website display. So I did have a marketing campaign um, that I did through Google AdWords last year and I, it was basically a display campaign. And here I had like a, a test case and then and these are the actual um, campaigns that I ran. Um, and so you can kind of see that coming through here. Paid search, which I didn't do, so there's going to be zero there in email, which I also didn't do. Uh, but I do have um, basically data for everything else, natural search, direct, referring domains, social networks, etc. Um, so this kind of gives you a big overview. You can uh, make a lot of edits in here in terms of what to see. I have click-throughs and new engagements. Um, oops, I think I'm on the wrong one here. There we go. Cancel that one out. Let me make sure I'm clicking on the right one. So here we go. So click throughs and new engagements. And here you can see all of the different metrics that are available. First touch and last touch for you can see there like budgets and cart additions and carts and checkouts and um, costs and orders and revenue. So as as you as I've said, it's really, really helpful um, to look at this for e-commerce sites. Uh, you can do it for videos as well, which um, as as many of you probably know if you watch my video um, tutorial I I have uh, video tracking enabled but I don't have any actual videos I can track because all my videos are on YouTube so uh, these are uh, useless to me at the moment or just looking at visitors and visits and that kind of thing um, so you can you can actually drag up to four uh, metrics on each of these um, so I only have two here, and I have two here, um, first touch visitors and last touch visitors. And um, both first touch and last touch get the same attribution. All right, so this is the main report, the overview report. Um, besides that, there is the first touch channel report. So it just kind of looks, gives you, just from a first touch perspective, looking at visits and new engagements, which is, you know, I set that up on the overview um, and then here is how you can change it. And you can ac actually change the metrics here as well. Um, looking at natural search, um, direct, internal, etc. And looking at, you know, how, um, how they relate to each other uh, in a first touch um, capacity. And then uh, you can have uh, first touch detail. So it kind of gives you like a complete breakdown um, of the details beneath those and you so you can actually see like which one gives you the most visits the most new engagements etc right now it's it's organizing by visits but I can uh, reorganize by new engagements um, still ends up being um, this in Google empty which I'm not entirely sure what this is um, this is kind of new um, data that I've, I've not seen before but it's obviously it's coming from Google versus Google India Google UK etc um, and I'm guessing this might actually be just searches that didn't have a keyword. Um, so the, the secure searches and things like that, which I'm not surprised that there's a lot of um, secure search traffic coming to my website. Um, and you can always double check that by going through your traffic sources and things, which I'm, I'm not going to uh, do at the moment. Um, and then just finally, we have last touch channel and last touch channel detail. So the same kind of thing where it's a breakdown of... Um, your channels based on the last touch and then kind of in in the order that um, and and based on the metrics that you selected earlier um, and then the same thing with last touch channel detail so those are the reports that you can get um, through the marketing channels and how to go in and configure marketing channels overall both um, on the back end through the admin tool and on the front end um, through 
the uh, the over overview report. Um, if anyone has any questions about any of this, I will do my best to answer them uh, through the comments below. So please leave a comment. Um, if you are finding these tutorials useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. And uh, until next week, take care. Bye-bye.